Hey, welcome everybody to Wound Care Gurus Live here on Facebook once again. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and joining us tonight. Some exciting things, some great information. Um, I'm excited to uh, uh, share with you our guest here in a little bit, but a few little housekeeping things. Um, I just want to mention, uh, number one is we still have uh, some sharp debris classes coming up this year. Uh, Salt Lake City coming up this Saturday, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We still have room in all those classes yet. We haven't sold any of them out, even with COVID restrictions. Um, they're starting to loosen up a little bit, so we're able to increase our class sizes. So we are excited about that. You can just go to sharpdebridement.com, and you can register there for any class. We will have the fall schedule coming out here probably by the end of May at the latest. Um, so be looking for that in case any of these uh, locations don't work for you. We will be bringing a fall schedule coming at you. So another exciting thing I want to mention is we've got a webinar tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, Know the Flow, Understanding Venus and Lymphatic Disease, put on by my partner in crime, the Mrs. Smith of Wound Care. Uh, my lovely wife, Denise Richland, is going to be presenting that tomorrow. We've had a great um, uh, turnout as far as registrations. People are excited to hear what she has to say. And uh, we will put the link in the comments. Um, if you have not registered yet, we will post the link in the comments so that you can kind of uh, see what's going on. And uh, check it out. Sign up if you register in advance. Even if you cannot make the webinar time, you will be able to access it for free on our website, woundcaregurus.com, after it. So pre-register guarantees that you get it for free after that. So, um, and it's worthwhile information. You will not be disappointed. So anyways, with that, um, I just wanted to um, bring on our good friend, one of my dearest friends, um, who I've known for, shoot, it's going on over 18 years now that um, I met this gal, and she uh, literally, folks, she changed my life um, in my passion for wound care and gave me the opportunity to be who I am today um, in the wound care industry and the ability to share the knowledge and um she just, you know, was always there to support me. So I want to bring on our guest for this evening. Let's welcome Nancy Morgan. Welcome, Nancy. Sorry, I had you muted there for a second just because there was a little background noise coming in. So how's it going? I'm good. Hi, Bill. How are you? I am well blessed. Thank you very much. I appreciate you tuning in with us tonight. Um, I know we've got some questions I'm going to ask you here shortly coming up but uh and there's some big news that we're i know our audience is going to be excited to um hear what that's all about because um you know nancy is you know let's just be honest you you haven't been out there and people you know there's the just a, you know a takeoff from the old you know where in the world is carmen san diego it's like where in the world is nancy morgan and uh <laughs> what is she up to so, but like I said, um, I know that, you know, there's been a lot going on in the last few years. So I wanted to kind of start off tonight with, you know, a lot of our audience, like I said, probably doesn't know all the, um, the details of what's gone on in Nancy Morgan's life in the last three to five years. So how about giving our audience, our listening audience, a, a, a history lesson as to what's okay. going on with Nancy Morgan over the past few years? Okay, just I'll do a short history lesson, <laughs> the cliff note. So um, some of you may not realize, or maybe you do, that uh, three years ago, Don and I sold Wound Care Education Institute and Wild on Wounds. And as I travel, I notice that some are, you know, just hearing about the information or they knew about it. So I just wanted to make it official and let everybody know so that we're all on the right page. Because I know some of you guys have been my friends for years and you're texting me, you're calling me and I'm like, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I gotta bring you up to speed. Hey, I'm no longer there. And I know it's a little shock because <laughs> I never thought I would leave. It's been 19 years that Donna and I started 
WCEI. And um, <laughs> that was a long time. <laughs> and we did thousands of classes together. And we did millions of miles with smiles. And that is true. Um, the first, well, I think uh, the first course that we went to was in Florida. And uh, we drove ourselves <laughs> in this rickety old truck <laughs> all the way down there from Chicago. I think I remember but, uh, that the story. Miles we Say that again, Bill. I think, I think I remember you telling that story when I first met you when I came to the class for the first time. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to say it in front of the audience, but I will since it's kind of already. I know what Donna's thinking right now. I had one of those um, projector screens that you pull down, those old timey ones. <laughs> I don't know, it might have been eight feet or whatever, but the thing would shake. <laughs> and so Donna would be driving and the thing would just keep shaking. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, I'm so sick of the shaking. And she goes, when are we ever going to get to the point where we don't have to carry this thing? Well, that that happened fast. And then it just went crazy from there. <laughs> It's been such a journey. It really has. Um, and we did it for the love of wound care. So the reason why we started, you know, why, the reason why we started that was to bring education to clinicians across the country. Us being nurses ourselves, WOCN nurses, you know, we ourselves, you know, we would go into these different nursing homes and we would teach wound care and then we would leave and then we come back and they have someone else working now. And they don't know wound care. No one knows wound care. They're not being taught. What are we going to do about it? Uh, Don and I are always fixers. If there's a problem, we're like, okay, now what can we do to help to change things? Right. And that's what we did. Little did we know it'd be 19 years later, but it's been <laughs> fun and it's been a journey. <laughs> sure. And um, so we sold three years ago. And the way that whole kind of lady. Out. Hey Nance, we kind of lost. You got a little bit garbled there. Oh, am I? Yeah, we just lost okay. a little bit. Of, we got I'll real garbled there. If you want to repeat that, um, what you just said in the last thirty seconds, so somehow our signal just kind of, you know, never can count on what the internet. <laughs> I know, right? What do you think you last heard on that, Bill? Um, you just got done. You were just talking about um, had just finished up why you were why you started WCI and you just said that you sold the company and then that's kind of when you kind of got we lost you after that okay. yeah so we sold the company to a company and then that company sold to another company <laughs> and this all happened in a short time frame so once we were transitioned with the one company then we started transitioning for the second company so we've been busy very very busy um but during that time i learned a lot as well and I also had some time to think and spend time with you guys, too, out in the field. And um, I never wanted to retire. I never wanted to end, you know, and this was never over. Right. But I had to kind of be quiet for a little while. And, you know, the pandemic happened. And I'm like, you know what? This is a good time. Hmm. This is a good time for me to focus on some of the things that I always wanted to do. Right. So um, and I did. And that is my big announcement tonight. Awesome. So what exactly uh, is the big reveal there, Nancy Martin? I know. Well, <laughs> the big reveal is I started my own company. And it is called NM Wound Care, Nancy Morgan Wound Care. I figure you guys know my name. That's going to be easy to find. And you know I love wound care 24-7. You put the two together, there it is. So I made it easy so you could find me. And also, I started some different business pages and Facebook pages and this one, and for Bill, you know, I just started this too, so you want you and Denise to know this. I started Wound Care Professionals, and it's a Facebook group, and it is public, and um, everyone wants to be part of the group. Maybe they didn't go to a class or this or that. This one's public. The doors are open. Anybody can come. And why are we together, and why do we want to share? We want to share what we're doing, what's working, what's not working. We want to share new technology and all the new stuff. I'm going to use that as a platform to to let you guys know what the new stuff is. Awesome. So you guys will see the new stuff here at Wound Care Gurus mm -hmm. on this platform, but also my platform too. So the more platforms, the better we can get this, get the news out. So let me just so ask about I, that. If I can ask you yeah. a quick question about that, Nancy, with the uh, Facebook forum. Now you said it's, sure. pub it's public. Now, is it public it's to public. open to anybody or just clinicians? And I'm just curious on that. Well, Right. It's it's all clinicians that are coming to the page that are okay. interested in wound care. Gotcha. Now, is there going to be some that are not clinicians? Yeah. 
Okay. And then there's just a lot of people out there that love wound care or that just want to gain some knowledge because maybe they're taking care of a loved one at home. I got you. And those of you that are familiar with our education, you know how we, we try to simplify things as simple as possible. So we're hoping that if there are some consumers that come in and they need help, we're hoping that we can help and support them too. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes total sense. Yeah. So why don't you kind of give us a little idea what the mission of Nancy Morgan Wound Care is then going forward? Okay. Sounds good. Well, I'll let you go ahead and pop that slide up. Yep. But pretty much the mission of Nancy Morgan Wound Care is to provide knowledge and training and resources to make you successful. And that's as simple as that. That's simple. So that means I'm here for the nurse. I'm here for the doctor. I'm here for the therapist. So I am still here. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm still to make things for you guys. You guys have um, shared with me a lot of different challenges, things that you need. So what I want to do in this business, I'm going to focus on those things. So in the next slide, I have down infographics. People say, hey, you know what? That might be a good way to learn, Nancy. I'll, gonna, I'll make you some infographics. You can take this. You can share it with other people. You guys want cheat sheets. You want checklists. I'm working on it. I've been working on it for the last year during the pandemic. We've got lots of different stuff in store for you. So um, also another thing that I noticed is a lot of you guys will say, hey, I went back to my facility and they wanted me to teach. And boy, I don't know how to do a PowerPoint. I've never done a PowerPoint. Where do I get pictures? Do I just steal them? No. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you an image library. Would that be nice? I'll make you an image library where you have some stage, stage type of wounds, some venous wounds, arterial wounds. That way you can use these in your PowerPoints. And these will all be okay because the patient would have signed consent. These are all, you can use them in, in brochures. You can use them on your whatever, business cards. I'll make a library that you can use for your education. Because you know I can't be doing this forever. So what I have to do is I'm going to make you all these things so you can go out and you can go and teach. And that's pretty much what I want to do for the next however many years. Awesome. That's exciting. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then um, also, I believe I might have something on the other slide. Let's see here. Yeah. Live seminars. Many of you have met me on my seminar tours. And I love it. You, I love going from one coast to the next coast, meeting all you guys, stopping at all these cities. I am building my seminar tour schedule. And what I always do is when I build it, I always ask, hey, do you guys want me to stop in your town? And I can put you on the calendar. Now there is of course criteria because when we stop in these cities, we get several hundred people. So sure. um, if you happen to have an auditorium and you want me to bring myself and the content and the people to your hospital or anywhere. Just let me know. Um, Bill has my email at the end of this presentation. You can just shoot me an email. I'll put you on the tour. And then what I'm going to do is just hear a request from all of you guys and then just kind of club it up so it all makes sense. So that way when I hit the road, I'll go from the east and go to the west. Awesome. I'm going to call that's it. Even more exciting, Nancy. <laughs> what, do you think of, what do you think about this uh, This uh, word? I, I, I kind of came up with the tour name. I thought Wounds on Wheels. You think that's any good, Bill? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, we've been traveling for so many years. I'm like, this is just Wounds on Wheels. Let's keep it simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And it's catchy. And it's catchy. Yep. And it's going everywhere. And that's what I'm doing. And I have already been hitting the field. Um, I've been doing some different groups and um, out here on the West Coast. So I'm in Vegas right now, but I've been all over California and different places. So uh, I am ready to hit the road. So why don't you guys give me an email if you want me to come into town? Awesome. We'll see you soon. We mm -hmm. will put that info up here at the end when we wrap things up. So you right. mentioned, a, um, I think you had a, um, some information you also on your um your new Facebook group. I think this is the one that you talked about. Yeah. So if you guys see the picture, the big picture in the left, so that is the wound care professionals group. That's the one where I said, you know, clinicians are joining up. We might have a few consumers that might need some help, but that's designed for you. You can ask me any questions. You want to talk to me. You want to message me. You want to share information. Feel free to do, do it. I mean, that, that's your platform too. Okay. So, um, Anything goes. Awesome. I'm not going to censor you. 
I promise you, I won't. <laughs> and then also, like I said, um, I also have the Nancy Morgan Wound Care. That's the business page. And anytime new stuff comes out, it'll be hitting those pages. And um, I do have a new, a new webinar that I'm doing. It's kind of fun. It's called Slippery When Wet, Exudate Management. <laughs> That's the best. When I saw when I saw that, I had a huge smile on my face. I'm like, that again. It's 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 it's, it's ingenious because it's not it's not so medical sounding. Which most webinars no. are so technical, they're so medical sounding. It's just like yeah. I love the creativity to that. That's awesome. Yeah, because I was thinking, it's like, well, how much? What happens when you have too much exudate? It gets slippery when it's wet. The thing <laughs> slides right off, you know. So, what are we going to do about it? We got to figure it out. So, I'm doing that, and it's free, guys. Free. <laughs> we love free. It's May fifth. May fifth. Okay, awesome. and uh, that's Wednesday, May fifth, at one to two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Excellent. All right. Well, make yeah. sure you folks out there listening, you check that out now will they be able to register for that um by checking out your your facebook page nancy morgan Wunder, yeah. or how would they actually find mm -hmm. them where would they go to locate that in the next 24 hours we're going to be putting that webinar in all the social media outlets for okay. us yeah mm -hmm. yep Excellent. so you'll be able to access it and even share with your friends terrific terrific because yeah we definitely want to push that out there nancy you are you're an enjoyable speaker. You know your stuff. And uh, so we want to make sure that that will be well attended. Um, and so, yeah, excellent. That's great, 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 great. Um, I guess, you know, you've got a lot going on, which is exciting. I'm, I'm really, I'm happy for you. Um, I know this is kind of like you've kind of closed a chapter in your life with, the, uh, with WCEI. And yep. um, you're no longer with the company at all, or either with the new companies. Um, you are a complete free, independent mm -hmm. agent, so to speak, you know. And I'm really yeah. excited for you know, this way. next chapter in your life. Um, I guess um, I'm trying to think of another question that, you know, I've got so many in my head. Um, I guess... Well, one thing I'm doing sure. that I forgot to mention on okay. one of the slides, and, and some of you might have known that I was doing this several years ago, is um, I would always keep my eyes on different products and okay. innovation technology that's outside the U.S. I'm always keeping my eyes on things like that. So I would always go to the different conventions and stuff, and uh, that's where I learn all the new stuff. Well, I got my eye on some different things that are going to be coming into the U.S., very shortly oh, cool. and it's exciting and it's cost effective and it's going to be good for your patients. So I'm going to kind of um, work with uh, ways to uh, work on some informational pages for the patients on how to use it and stuff uh -huh. like that. And as soon as that hits the, hits the U S I will let everyone know mm -hmm, for sure. Excellent. Hey, if anybody Thanks. listening has any questions for Nancy, you know, I'm sure she'd be happy to take them um, because we don't get to hear from her all that often is, and now it sounds like she's going to be jet setting all over the place or driving one of the two. Um, yeah. And uh, she won't be able to nail her down as, you know, as easily as we'd like to. Um, oh, we got one that, I mean, obviously. Um, so wow. Right now, are you speaking at wow? No. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I was just kind of curious. No, I know there's a, there's well, a combined not, conference well, coming up. So didn't know if there was yeah. that you were getting put on the docket. Somebody just asked me, yep. um, one of the questions just popped up, said, would you consider holding another wound care conference? <laughs> Since obviously you put yeah, together WOW well originally, and it was a very popular conference, um, and certainly mm -hmm. hopefully going forward it will remain that way under the new company. Um, but, um, you know, the question was, is would you consider holding another one now that you're kind of a free yeah. agent, I guess, is what they're wondering. Well, being a free agent, I guess you could do anything you want to. So that, I mean, it's, you know, it's not out of the question. Um, I've done a lot of conferences in 19 years. So I'm thinking I might want to dabble in different stuff, but uh, it's, I can certainly do it. Now, one thing that I have been doing, and this is year after year, is there's a lot of hospital systems that have your, like your wound care day of the year or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so if you meet speakers, 
for something like that on a yearly basis or a couple times a year, feel free to tap into me. Sure. I mean, that's I still can speak for any organization and okay. and do webinars. I always like live because I'm not a podium speaker. I move around, <laughs> I bounce on the tables, you know, so I'd rather be live. I prefer live <laughs> if we can. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, somebody just popped a question up that's not for you. I can handle it. Says somebody asked about Joy Hooper and if she's still with W. Yeah, as far as Joy is still with WCEI. She is still. Uh, mm -hmm. Still handling the OMS course um, very well, yes. and it's a very well, very well attended, and it's an excellent um, opportunity for those of you listening audience that want to do your OMS certification. Um, you, she will certainly do a heck of a job. Um, yes, she will. She, it's, I, I always like to say it's always been a real joy to listen to Joy teach Austin me, um, just because mm -hmm. I, I don't know about you, Nancy, but you know, not to get off track, but I, I've never met somebody as passionate. And excited about fistulas and ostomies in my life. So, <laughs> well, and it, it really takes a, a different kind of person because I can be honest and say they don't do nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I met Joy for the first time. We were in Florida. I saw her on the stage, and I was with one. I was with Jennifer, one of our other instructors. And I looked at Jennifer, and I'm like, "That's the one. That's the one that's going to really change ostomy. She awesome. is the one." <laughs> And she is, and she's done an incredible job. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just so glad that uh, WCI still has her. So yep, they are great. blessed, you know. Yeah. Is... We, one thing to say is uh, Scott is gone. I don't know if we ever mentioned that. Oh uh, yeah. But Scott, Scott has retired, That's and so true. now he's rock climbing every day. <laughs> rock climbing, or he's riding his electric bike. You know, I'm not quite sure exactly how much exercise that really is when it's electric. <laughs> My wife and I actually went out to visit Scott and his lovely bride uh, last oh, yeah. December, and we went bike riding, and they let us use their electric bikes, and I was like, well, this is my kind of biking, because <laughs> you just turn the power up, and you hardly have to pedal, and the thing just takes off. <laughs> so, very I've never interesting. Been on that. So, anyways. A couple, um, couple other things as I... Sure. Is um, people have been asking us a lot about policies and procedures. Okay. It's like, hey, what's going on with policies and procedures? I need a policy and procedure. And I constantly get all these requests. No, just know that the policy procedure book is getting updated. Yes. Yay. That's a news break in itself. Yeah, it is getting updated. It will be updated. And when you guys need it, I mean, it's, it's ready to go. If you remember the old one, it was pretty, pretty yeah. huge. That was a so big a lot, book. So there's a lot of content to update. Mm -hmm. But that's in motion. And then we're doing um, just an educational series of like modules that you guys can use and teach your staff. Oh, okay. Basic 101 kind of thing. Not technical, just just what they should have gotten in school. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which again, so I mean, we'll that's that. that that's that's real important. I think just, you know, to give clinicians an opportunity to have some 101 stuff that won't overwhelm them, you know, because obviously, you know, I'm still an instructor with WCEI, which I really enjoy. Um, I still love teaching the class and I love interacting with the students. But you know, having owned the company for so many years and been an instructor out there, it's it's a, it's a lot of information. It's like info dump in four days. <laughs> and for that for that newer person, even if they, you know, they've got the minimum two years of wound care experience so they can take the test two years is really not a ton of experience especially if you're not doing it full time 40 hours a week and that amount of information in the wci in a certification course like that can literally you know overwhelm somebody and i often see that in my students they're just like by the time we get to the end of the day on Tuesday, you can see that their their meter's almost on full. <laughs> we got two more days to go. I know. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. They just had to do the time. <laughs> it's just like all of us had to do it. Yeah. Like going through college, nursing school. <laughs> Somebody yeah. asked about where they can find the information. Um, uh, what page to go to. And I'm assuming yeah, you just the, your, your Facebook page right now? Yeah, just stick with the Facebook page right now is fine. Okay. Um, 
we're working on things. It's going to be slow. I'm not going to have a complete store overnight. I just want you to know that I got stuff cooking. So, and if you have things, and, I, and a lot of times you guys call me and say, hey, I got this idea, or you need a form, or you've got some ideas, whatever, call me. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I can like listen to what you might need, and then I can come up with maybe some kind of system or something that will help you. Sure. Uh, and then a lot of times it'll help others too. So right. I'm Make doing sense. it for the big, for the, for the large group. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. Excellent. So feel free to tap into me if you ever right. need anything created. Yep. Well, I'm going to pop up your contact information here quick, Nancy. So okay. for those of you that want to get a hold of Nancy, here is her info. Um, she's, here's your email address. I know it is up in the comments section as well, too. But if you want to take a quick screenshot or write this down, um, I know Nancy loves paying it forward and paying it back. She has her entire career as a wound clinician. So... Um, and like it says, it sounds like with Nancy Morgan Mooncare, she's just going to keep on with that passion and that philosophy of paying it forward and paying it back. So, excellent. Well, Nancy, um, it's really been a pleasure. Um, Thank you. Thanks do you have for your time. any, any last things you want? Anything else you want to add, quick, before we kind of sign off for the evening? No. Thanks for the years and. Yeah. Uh, Let's keep doing some wound care together. Peace, love, and wound care to you. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Nancy. God bless you. And we will see you out on the wound care roads. All right? You got it. Wounds on wheels. All right. Awesome. Good night, Nancy. Thanks for, come. Thanks for joining us. Bye. All right, everybody. That wraps up our interview for tonight. I hope you are excited to hear the news about what's going on with Nancy Morgan. I know this wasn't a typical clinical one like we normally do. Um, we've got plenty of those in the hopper and they'll be coming here over the course of the next months. So stay tuned in. And uh, of course, again, do not uh, forget to check out the webinar tomorrow and pre-register for it. You will not be disappointed. Uh, Denise is gonna just knock it out of the park as I know she always does. Um, there will also be a live Q&A session after, so that will be a great opportunity if you've got any specific questions about venous and or lymphatic disease that she doesn't specifically address it during her webinar, that you can fire that question to her and she would love to hear from you. So with that being said, everybody, thanks so much for being a part of this evening with us, and we will see you again next time. Good night, everybody.